Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're gonna have a quick tutorial on outline text, how you can easily create outline text in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how you can create this outline text. For those of you that are new here, my name's Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative, and I also create templates that you can find directly on Canva. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down below to my templates that you can find on Canva, and I'd love to hear what you think of those. So you drop me a comment down below, and let's get on to today's tutorial. Okay, so you want to create outline text in Canva, but you're not sure where to start. So what we're going to do is I've just created a template. This is just a blank canvas. This is, happens to be an Instagram template canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the side. We're going to come down to the text option here, and I'm just going to add a heading. I'm going to add a heading because then I can just drag that up and make that look a little bit bigger. So you'll be able to see it on the screen so you can see this text effect being applied. And this text effect can be applied to either headings, subheadings, or even body of text. And it also works on any font that you use in Canva. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got our text added and we can change this text to any text we want, any text here. And if you want, you can change it to caps lock or you can have it in upper and lower case. So it doesn't really matter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the effects here and you can simply click on hollow. Now that's a quick and easy way to add the outline text and you can come and you can change the color of the outline of the text as well. But what happens if you want the inside to be a different color? Let me show you this. There's this option here called splice. Now what splice does is actually creates like a double layer and you can see when you first look at this, it's kind of like offset and you're thinking like, well, that's not really the effect that I want to look for. So what you do is you come over to the offset option you drag that all the way down to zero, so there's no offset. So what you've got is you've got that layer that's just kind of lined up, if you like, to the kind of like the outline side. So now what you can do is you can come down to color and you can change the color of the inside. And that's how you can change the color of the inside of the text. If you want to change the outline color, you just have the text highlighted and then you can click on the A button up here and this will give you the outline color. And then to change the outline color, you just click on the options here and that'll just change the outline color. You can change this text to be any, any one whatsoever. So you can even choose like gallon. So you've got this kind of like, not really sure that's a really good effect that you can have there, but um, you can even change it to your uploaded text. So if you've got a font that you've uploaded, you can still apply this outline text effect to that. Here's another thing that you might be thinking. You might be thinking like, right, well, that's really good, but can I change the border? And again, yes, you can. You just come over to the border and you can change the thickness of it. So you can change it all the way down to one point as well, which is really good because you can have a really fine outline if you like, or you can change it all the way up if you want a really thick outline which doesn't look that great, but it might look better on a big, if you're thinking like, like a poster or something like that that you want to create, and depending on the font that you're using, it might look a lot better. What you can't do at the moment is you can't mix styles of fonts, so you can't create an outline text and curve it. That's hopefully something that Canva will add at some point in the future, but that's it for today's tutorial. If you really like that, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. I've also just started a Facebook community, so I'll put a link down below to the Facebook community. It'd be lovely to see you there for you to join in so I can see your designs, ask any questions that you've got, and join the community there. And until next time, bye for now.